So I was walking around in my garden this morning. This is my house. This is where I sleep on Mondays. This is where I sleep on Tuesdays. This is where I run away from ghosts. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is just a castle very close to my house. It's great. In Belgium we have a lot of castles and a lot of great places if you ever come and visit. And But this is not a video about castles. This is a video about your amygdala. The amygdala is an important part of our brain and if you've ever followed my course against panic attacks then you heard me talk about it a lot because the amygdala is the part of our brain that is like a radar. It's continuously looking out for us and it's continuously checking. Uh, is that a tiger there? What's that? What's that? Is that? Is that tree going to fall on me? Is that a snake? And it's like a radar that is trying to keep us safe for as long as it can, for as much as it can. But the problem with the radar is that it sees everything. So it's going to see everything around you and it is just going to give it as a little blip on the radar and then it's up to us to decide what we do with those blips. But in but the concept that I want to explain in this video is a mistake that most of us make. You have made it in the past if you suffered from anxiety and panic attacks. If you still suffer from them then you're still making that mistake. And that is the following mistake. When our radar sees something it is our reaction to it that proves it right or that proves it wrong. Meaning, if I see a tiger right now, then my amygdala is going to launch the fight or flight response. You've already heard, heard me talk about that. But if I see the tiger and I say, whoa, yeah, that's a tiger, and I start to run, then I've just confirmed that my amygdala was right. And the amygdala is going to memorize everything around me, the location I was in, the people I was with, everything. So that the next time I ever come close to a castle or something similar, it's going to be on guard and it's going to say, well, there may be tigers here, so let me raise your anxiety level a little bit. Now, this is the reason why anxiety seems to spread over to other areas of your life and why it can grow bigger and bigger because in the end, in, in 2004, right before I overcome, overcame my anxiety and my panic attacks, my body was afraid of everything. My amygdala saw tigers everywhere because I kept confirming that there were tigers everywhere. Because that's what we do, isn't it? If you have an anxiety or a panic attack in a location where you're just shopping for groceries or you're sitting in a meeting room or you're sitting in a plane, even at home, you're doing whatever and you get anxiety and you have thoughts like, my gosh, what's happening here? Why am I feeling this? Who can I call? Who's going to come and help me? What should I do? What you're doing with those thoughts is you're confirming to your amygdala that you are in danger indeed. So the amygdala is going to memorize everything around you and the next time that you're in the same location, that you had the same thoughts, that you had the same sensations, it's going to automatically raise your anxiety level. And it does that to help us. When you were a kid, there was probably a time where you thought you could cuddle with a bumblebee or where you could pet a little wasp for some reason and then the animal, the insect, stung you and it hurt and the amygdala remembered it and this is a mistake you probably only made once, right? So that's why the amygdala does this. It's a lifesaver. It's meant to not make us, uh, have us make the same mistake twice. But it becomes a problem when you keep confirming to your amygdala that you are in danger when you're in fact not. So the question that we need to ask ourselves when our amygdala thinks it has seen something is we have to, as quickly as possible, simply decide, am I in imminent danger? Now, this is a question that you will not have to ask when you see a real tiger because you will be running <laughs> within a couple of seconds. But if you're just minding your own business somewhere and the anxiety tries to rise, ask yourself the question, what's going on here? Am I in life or death imminent danger at this moment? If the answer is no, then your fire alarm, the amygdala, is misfiring. It's seeing a danger that is not there yet. You have to remember the fight or flight response is not meant for a danger that's going to happen five minutes from now. It's for imminent danger. So even if you may be convinced at the time that you are in danger because you're feeling all of those strange things or whatever, you're not. If you can't pinpoint the imminent danger, then you're not and the fire alarm has made a mistake. So think about this the next time and make sure that you soothe yourself with your self-talk. This is what works because again, if I would see a tiger right now, what I will never ever do is just look at the tiger and say, oh look, it's just a tiger. I take vitamins, so that's not a problem. I'm not afraid of you, Mr. Tiger. Hm. No, I'll be running again. So. 
the fact that I do talk in that soothing way, that I use that self-talk, is a very strong communication to our entire body and especially to the amygdala that it was wrong, that we're not in danger and the anxiety will start to subside. And the next time that you do the same thing, the anxiety will start to subside even more. Now, some people then think, well, yeah, but you see, I have been doing the things that scare me, that give me anxiety, and still the anxiety stays. So what's up with that then? Well, the question is, how have they been doing those things? If they were all anxious and have, if they had thoughts like, okay, let me do this as quickly as possible, I hope I will be all right. <laughs> then the amygdala says, okay, yes, indeed, there may be tigers here, so let me already hide and the anxiety level a little bit, and I hope you will be all right. And the next time it will do the same. That's what we have to stop. We have to call out its bluff and we have to say thank you, Radar, thank you for warning me because one day there may be a tiger and you are going to warn me for that as well. But this time I'm just going to continue with my day and I'm not going to worry with or about the thing that you've just given to me. This works really well. I just wanted to shoot this little video for you. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the future. Bye. If this video has helped you even just a little bit, then I've got a lot more in store for you. You can click on the link in the description of this video, come on over to the website, watch more videos or even leave your email address if you want to get weekly videos that I'm not sharing over here. I have a ton more techniques for you to deal with anxiety and panic attacks, so go to the description of the video, click on the link and come on over. I'll be waiting for you.